And now I would take an opportunity to invite Professor Sachidananda Mishra, Member Secretary of ICPR New Delhi, uh, for the presidential and concluding remarks. Professor Mishra. Shankaram Shankara Charyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashya Kritao Vande Bhagavanta Punaha Punaha Respected Professor P.K. Mukhopadhyayaji Dear Professor Daniel Rave The scholars present here from different part of country This is indeed a matter of great pleasure to be here in this department the department of Professor T. R. V. Murthy, Professor E. K. Chatterjee, and N. K. Devaraj, etc. And uh, in a seminar, the theme of which is the post independence Advaita thinkers. When the idea was formulated to organize a seminar on this topic, the idea was to pinpoint those thinkers who have contributed in the development of Advaita philosophy after independence. Because we can see that this Advaita philosophy, in a sense, the most ancient philosophy because the seeds of this philosophy are very much available in the Upanishads. Ekam sadvipra bahudha vadanti ekam eva dvitiyam nehana nasti kinchana so there are so many such sentences available and all the Advaita thinkers formulate their philosophy on the basis of these Vedanta texts. Therefore, we can see that there is a long tradition. And if we talk in modern terminology, more than 2,500 years. If we are talking about talking in modern te terminology, where I started Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashya Kritao Vande Bhagavanta Puna Puna. We can see that this philosophy is somehow related to Shankar and also to Shankaracharya. Because Shankara is Jnana Michet to Shankarat. It is said that when one is willing to achieve knowledge, one should ask, one should pray to Lord Shankara. And there is another murti of Lord Shankara. That murti is known as Dakshana murti. And Dakshana murti, Bhagavan, is actually a Lord who gives knowledge. He is God of knowledge. And very interestingly, Shankaracharya wrote a text, Dakshina Murti Stotra, in which Vishwam Darpana Drishyamana Nagari Tullyam Nijantar Gatam Pashyannatmani Maya Bhairivod Bhutam Yato Nidraya Yaha Sakshat Kurute Prabod Samay Swatmana Mevadvayam Tasmai Shri Guru Murtai Namaidam Shri Dakshina Murtai So in these, uh, beginning from this shloka, in this Dakshinamurti Stotra, Acharya Shankara is propounding Advaita philosophy. And there is a commentary available on that by Surishwara Acharya, Manasullasa. And actually, I find myself fortunate enough to have the opportunity to edit a commentary written on that by 
अनंत कृष्ण शास्त्री मानसोल्लास वर्धिनी रेयर कमेंट्री एंड रेयर मैनुस्क्रिप्ट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ विच आई एडिटेड दैट एंड अनंत कृष्ण शास्त्री एज प्रोफेसर मुखोपाध्याय सर हाईलाइटेड इन ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी ही ही डाइड इन सिक्सटी सिक्सटी फोर नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फोर सो ही इज वेल वर्स्ड एंड ही डिजर्व टू बी काउंटेड इन दिस फिलोसॉफिकल सेमिनार एंड ही शुड बी स्टडीड एंड पेपर मस्ट हैव बीन प्रेजेंटेड आई एक्चुअली I wanted to present a paper on him, but uh, some price one has to pay for being an administrator. So I couldn't get time to write a paper on that topic. So he was a well-versed scholar, and if you go through the writings of uh, Anand Krishna Shastri ji, in Anand Krishna Shastri we can see. how this advaita tradition which started from uh, such long time and it is also flourishing in this 20th century and we can see we can be very much hopeful that in this 21st century also such type of scholars um, surely will evolve will be born and they will contribute to the uh, uh, development of this uh, philosophy which is great philosophy so in his writings one one or two points i would like to refer because he wrote shatabhushani professor mukhopadhyay also highlighted that point that he wrote shatabhushani to reject shatadushani very uh, very uh, so many people are aware of shatadushani but only a few of us are available uh, aware of shatabhushani and also he wrote another text advaita tattva sudha in two parts two volumes advaita tattva sudha this is a very original text and uh, he was a, a very prolific writer he wrote and edited almost 27 text 27 books so his writings are very important he he was not a writer to get a promotion or to to earn a api but he wrote because he was so much devoted to advaita philosophy and he was so much devoted to advaita philosophy because when he was to die before a few days he took sanyas and after taking sanyas he got he he died so he was living this philosophy and following this philosophy and he was also developing this philosophy so in in the scholars uh, like uh, anand krishna shastri and others we can see the development of this advaita philosophy how it is started how and very beautifully professor mukhopadhyay sir highlighted uh, sachidanand saraswati's contribution how he contributed how he challenged the whole tradition his own tradition that uh, the commentary written by other scholars bhavana school bhavati school and other schools all are not grasping the essence of acharya shankaraj bhashya this is another way we um, uh, another way we can look at the tradition so when we are talking about this philosophy and uh, uh, this seminar this seminar is actually to pinpoint those scholars to pick up those scholars who are who have contributed in the development of advaita philosophy and in the direction of advaita philosophy and both points professor pk mukhopadhyay sir have highlight has highlighted i am very much thankful that he agreed to deliver this keynote address and as he told in the beginning of his uh, lecture that he is not well prepared without preparation he has come to deliver this lecture and uh, so i need and i think um, uh, we should have such a scholars 
who could come without preparation and could deliver such beautiful lectures and if this is the this way we can have such scholars that will be a wonderful thing so uh, we have professor daniel rave and he is a old, he is an old friend of mine uh, he is also studying how indian philosophy is being evolved in 20th century and at present time so his book is also there he published i would like to congratulate him he is presented very important talk here and i i think that in coming uh, se sessions we will um, we will be fortunate enough to have very fruitful discussions very fruitful talks um, given by uh, many scholars professor h s prasad sir godavari mr ji r c pradhan ji and so many more scholars professor amigadatt sharma ji so there are so many scholars from different part of country and i think some more will be joining us uh, tomorrow and or day after tomorrow so in these three days we will be actually uh, <coughs> measuring out the development how this advaita philosophy which is the oldest philosophy and also uh, in a sense new also this is old, an oldest philosophy but also it is very pertinent very uh, intuitive and also uh, um, developing in a new way in every uh, philosopher every scholar so because uh, when we look at the uh, thinking of trv murthy professor ak chatterji and some other scholars uh, there is actually uh, influence of western thinking also because western thinkers have also developed there is also advaita advaitic um, thinking so that advaita thinking because you can see in the writings of trv murthy the kant's reflection how kant developed and as he puts that kant is uh, yeah 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 that is that is also a point so uh, according to trv murthy kant is a, 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 an incomplete pro, um, pro, pro project so kant's project can be developed in different ways so in that way also they have tried to develop advaita philosophy so when we are talking about advaita philosophy in a, in a single sentence if you say uh, this philosophy believes in one oneness so there is one reality so this is the essence of this philosophy and if you try to find out this statement and in that way all the advaita philosophies become identical so how all advaita philosophies are different this is also a challenge and i think when we look at these thinkers we can find out those challenges how these philosophies are different and what are the grounds on which these philosophies can be seen differently so i am not taking too much time because uh, as professor we came mukhopadhyay sir very rightly pointed out in the beginning of his lecture that what is the job of ye an adhyaksha so accordingly i am completing my talk here thank you very much giving me this opportunity thank you so much sir for your wonderful concluding remarks and you are as effective and lucid as always always a pleasure to hear you